Aloha, my cyberbots. Hope everyone's having a wonderful and productive week. Sorry I haven't been on again, but I've just been super busy with work and training, and I've had friends in and out of the hospital, so I'm dealing with that again. So please bear with me, okay? Um, but anyway, I still wanted to try and celebrate Easter because I love Easter candy, and I love to uh, boil eggs and paint them myself. So I am going to boil some eggs. Hopefully they come out good, and I will be back and show you the end result. I'm going to boil the eggs right now, and then I'm going to show you how I am going to color my Easter eggs. I will be back soon. Well, I'm waiting for my eggs to boil, and as I'm staring at my eggs, waiting for them to boil, boil, I notice there's a crack in one of them. Oh, man, I can never have the perfect egg. Never! Oh well, I'll still eat it anyway. So, here are the eggs and the bubbles, ready to boil. Yay, can't wait. I'm back everyone. Here are the finished boiled eggs. And I also have some candy to get me through the night of coloring my Easter eggs. So right now I'm starting off with three colors. And I like to have the styrofoam little cups and I just cut them in half because I don't like to have my bowls uh, dyed with the, uh, with the uh, coloring, with the tablets of the colors. So I don't like to have that. Even when I juice, I don't like my beads to stain my counter or anything, so I cut those in a separate little plate. I'm very picky about that. And I also have this that came with the coloring kit, but I don't think I'm going to use this because it's so wimpy. So I think I'm just going to use my tongs. And I also have my little uh, container to put my boiled eggs in. And in case you're wondering what happened to that egg in the beginning of the video that was really cracked, well, here it is. There you go, that's the egg that was really cracked. But I guess I can still eat this little fella. Yeah, it looks kind of like a smiley face, huh? Okay, well this kit came with the six different coloring tablets, different colors of tablets, and with stickers and all that good stuff. So when the eggs get nice and colored, then I might put some stickers on them, but I don't know. So let's do the first egg. I'm going to grab my tong. I'm going to grab one of these little suckers. And I'm going to dump them, get over here. I'm going to dump them in the, I believe this is like a blue color, aqua, or something like that. Okay. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to use my hand. They're hot, but I can stand the heat. And dip this one in the red, just like that. And then we're going to do one in yellow. Ooh, lemonade. Oh, the pretty Easter colors. So tell me, do you guys like to color Easter eggs as well? Or do you find it really childish? And if you guys find it childish, then who cares because I like to do it. <laughs> Blah. And I like to eat candy too. And I also like to have an Easter basket with an Easter bunny. Mm. So I'm going to wait a couple of minutes. And the longer you leave them in there, the darker they get. If you take them out right away, then they get really light. So I'm going to do maybe one really dark and a few light and vice versa. So this, they're going to come out really pretty. And there's my candy. Yummy. Uh, of course, I already ate these. what was inside these little eggs right there. It was some taffy, coconut flavor. Pretty good, too. Mm. And I ate a little package of... Uh, some M&M's, little mini M&M's. They're pretty tasty. Okay, let me check this one with this wimpy little thing. See how light that is? You've got to let it in, depending on the colors that you like. I like to smell these things, too. Mmm, I wonder what it tastes like. Let me taste it. Eh, vinegary. However, I've heard that it's good to take a shot of vinegar every once in a while. It's like a natural body toxin. 
That's what I've heard. I've actually tried it too. It's not that bad. Let me see. This color, the tongs are going to be too... Oh, crap. Tongs are going to be... <laughs> are going to be too big so I got some of the blue inside my red oh well just consider that a tie-dye egg <laughs> let's see what this one looks like oh come on ooh that's a nice pretty color I'll leave it in a little bit longer Let's try, see what the yellow one looks like. That's going to be pretty nice, too. Let's see, here we go. Get over here. Ooh, very nice pastel color, but I like mine a little darker. I like my eggs like, my, I like my Easter eggs like I like my men dark. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I think I've had too much candy. Have you guys heard that saying? I like my coffee like I like my men, dark and strong. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. No more candy for you, Electra. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. So I'm going to take this little fella out of the pool. And I'm going to put him right into the drying bed. There you go, little baby. See, he's all by himself right now, but... He's going to have a little friend coming along. Ooh, that's a nice little peachy coral type color. So I'm going to take this one out. Keep, keep him company. So this is a girl and that's a boy. And the yellow egg can be, I guess, either or. That's pretty nice, but I like this one a little darker, so we'll drop him back off. Okay, so now I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do half of this one, and then I'm going to do half of the blue. So I'm just going to hold it right there, and you can get really creative with your eggs. I'm just going to hold this one for a couple of seconds, just like that, depending on how much time you have on your hands. That's why I like I like to do this at night because I you know had a long day went to the gym had an intense workout now I'm just relaxing and just coloring my Easter eggs which these are going to come in handy for me because I can use these for my salads and stuff and I always like to eat boiled eggs so we'll drip this off and then we'll turn it to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to have to probably put my little tips on it. And I'm going to dip the other half. Let's see how this is going to come out. So we'll leave it in here for a few minutes. I know my hands are going to get kind of stained, but the tongs weren't doing it. And that little wimpy little tool that came with the coloring kit was just not working. So it all came down to using my hands. It's nothing wrong with getting your hands a little dirty now, is there? Do you guys have any big Easter plans? Check this out. Now I'm going to let this one just drip a bit. Get a little more blood, a little darker. Oops, don't want to leave any type of, it was a little white on the side, so I'll just get this one here. So if you guys have a good secret on boiling eggs, please share with me because I don't boil the best of eggs. Yeah, one time I was boiling the water and then I threw the eggs in there and they all popped. I don't know what I did wrong. Check this out. Like I said, you can, you, you know, if you have nothing to do and you're bored or you just want to have some fun and get in the spirit of Easter, just color some eggs. Get creative. Look how pretty this one looks. Oh my God. Look. So all you have to do is hold it down a little bit and it's nice and pretty, half and half. And you can even do it um, 
like I said, after they dry, you can put the stickers on them or draw with little crayons. So oh, it's, it's a really fun thing to do with your friends and family. I'm just doing it by myself with my little kitten, Sheba. She's just staring at me. Um, but that's okay. I got her a little Easter basket, too, with some kitty treats. So she keeps staring at me like that. I'm going to take it away from her. <laughs> just kidding. So look at this. Okay, everyone. Well, this is my little, I guess, uh, video of how to color a good Easter egg. Not how to boil the perfect egg, but how to color the great Easter egg. <laughs> As you can see, these are really pretty colors. Well, I hope everyone has a very happy Easter. Be safe and don't eat too much candy like I already have, so I'm going to cut myself off. Until then, everyone, I will see you guys soon. And just remember, if you're going to color eggs, make sure you have everything already prepped, like your cups and your bowls and whatnot. So it can be a lot easier and a lot more fun. So if you don't want to uh, stain your little good china, just cut up little styrofoam cups. These are like a dollar. So just cut them up in half and you're good to go. I will see you guys soon, my little cyber bunnies. Bye!